This statement is of the form if x then y, which is a conditional statement, where x is the hypothesis or antecedent and y is the conclusion or consequent. To find a counterexample to this, we need x, the hypothesis, to be true and y, the conclusion, to be false. So let's have a look at each one of these in turn. Here's the hypothesis and the conclusion. OK, a, x equals 4. Well, that means that x squared is equal to 16, which is greater than 9, so the hypothesis is true. But the conclusion, x equals 4, which is greater than 3, is also true, so that is not a counterexample. x equals minus 2, well, x squared is equal to 4, which is not greater than 9. As the hypothesis is even true, that is irrelevant. It is not a counterexample x equals 5, well, x squared equals 25, which is greater than 9, so the hypothesis is true, but x equals 5 is greater than 3, so that means the conclusion is also true, but that means it is not a counterexample. x equals 2, well, x squared is equal to 4, which is not greater than 9, so therefore the hypothesis is not even true, so this is irrelevant, it is not a counterexample. x equals minus 4, well, x squared equals 16, which is greater than 9, so the hypothesis is true, but x equals equals minus 4 is not greater than 3. That is false. So we finally have our counterexample. The hypothesis is true, but the conclusion is not true. So the counterexample is E, x equals minus 4.